There are lots of unique trade names given to various varieties of gems, and today we're going to talk about what exactly is a chrome tourmaline. The term chrome tourmaline refers to a very vibrant, bright green gem that can sometimes be confused with an emerald, and this is because chrome tourmalines are named this way because they actually contain the same trace element that gives emeralds their beautiful bright green glow and color, chromium. When looking at chrome tourmalines, you wanna see, again, that very bright, vibrant green color, and you don't want any hint of yellow or brown. The more green and bluish green it is, the more valuable it's going to be. Another thing with green tourmalines is they can be very dark and they can have a lot of areas of extinction, meaning there are areas in the gem that completely absorb light and they can't reflect light back to our eyes. So when we look at it, there's lots of areas of pretty much black color. So we don't want that in our chrome tourmalines. We want them to be very vibrant and saturated and we want them to be very high clarity as well. They should definitely be eye clean. Chrome tourmalines are definitely rare. So especially over the two carat range, they are hard to find, but you can find them in you know large sizes, even up to five carats. Obviously the bigger you go, the more exponentially expensive they will become. Um, but they're an, an amazing alternative, especially if you love those vibrant green colors and something like an emerald or even a sabarite garnet might be a little beyond your budget. A chrome tourmaline is definitely an amazing alternative. Obviously, they don't have as much glow and maybe blue green color as an emerald might have. And they're definitely not as lustrous and brilliant as the sabarite garnet, which is why those garnets are particularly well known and famous. Um, but they are a beautiful stone. And again, you can find them in absolutely beautiful qualities. You might just have to do a little bit of digging. The other thing to remember about tourmalines is that they can be strongly pleochroic, which means that um, depending on the way that they're cut, they can appear different colors in different directions depending on how you view them. And this is very much the case for chrome tourmalines. So the thing you wanna watch out for is that, again, view it in all directions um, in different light sources, and you don't wanna see those areas of extinction in certain directions or those areas of brownish or yellowish color. Um, in an ideal situation, you might get a pleochroic stone that's a little more blue when you view it in one direction and a little more green in another direction. And stones like this might actually be more valuable um, than just a kind of plain non-pleochroic tourmaline or something with very little pleochroic tendencies. As always, it's important to remember that these types of trade terms are, you know, to be taken with a grain of salt. and. Oftentimes, stones like this aren't necessarily going to be offered with reliable documentation stating that the gem actually does contain chromium. Um, it's more of, you know, a hint and for you to know that this is a very kind of valuable and ideal stone and that it does have beautiful green color. But as always, you're going to want to see that stone in person. Again, view it from all directions and make sure that it's actually appealing to your eye and it's something that you love. Um, so just remember that just because it's labeled chrome tourmaline doesn't mean that it's necessarily desirable. Thanks so much for watching and as always to learn more about gems and jewelry, visit our main page at winstongemsandjewelry.com.